We had a top four episode that was not a finale. We are going into a finale, spoiler alert, with four people still. And we're still going to pretend like we don't know who's winning this thing. But I'm Oh, ready. we have a few things to talk about. <laughs> um, preferably the runway I was pleased as punch. There was a question asked also on the runway that was a little bit of a giggle and a gag and a goop. A lip sync that Kelly Clarkson would be pressed about. And more. We'll get to the child. You may see music, please. <laughs> Listen. What's up? It's your boy, Maddie Rance. And Jamari Four. Thank you so much for tuning into the channel. Do me a favor, hit that like button, share, and subscribe to this baby. And my friend's channel too, Jamar Annie Four. He just said his name. So we're going to do our social <laughs> medias and we're going to get right into this episode because we've been doing this pretty good the last couple episodes. It's at Maddie Rance on both Facebook and Instagram at the Maddie Rance on Twitter. And if you'd like to donate the channel because you know my rest. Please and thank you. That's Cash App, Dollar Sign, Money Rants, Benno, Money Rants, Rants, and PayPal.me for slash Money Rants. Also, I'm on TikTok, at Money Rants. Help me make my first TikTok video. I'm already making Jamar make one with me, so. <laughs> Jamar, what are your social media links for the kids upstairs, downstairs, and back in the rear? Uh, so you can find me on all social media at Jamar84. That's Twitter, YouTube, and Instagram, with the exception of TikTok, which is Jamar840. Amen. Amen. Vandava. I saw you had a recent interview with Mr. Ike of G Status Atlanta with Scotty. Is this correct? Did that happen? Am oh, I yes. We did that last night. It was great. He Lovely. is amazing. We're here to talk about Drag Race Holland in episode, I believe. Seven now, yes, because the last time we were right with six, it? this one would be seven, yes. <laughs> okay. I'm a stretcher. Man, I had when I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> we we the funny thing is there haven't been that many episodes, but it still feels like there's been a lot of episodes, right? Okay, so we said goodbye to Chelsea Boy, and honestly, you could tell from the majority of the room they were not happy that Chelsea left so early. Oh, yeah. They wanted Abby out of there. <laughs> they all figured it was going to be Chelsea, Mama Queen, um, Jenna, and Envy, and that was going to be a wrap. But no, our Brazilian sweetheart with the perfect rump that Fred has to say, what's up, babe? <laughs> I was like, what is, where'd that come from? That was... Like, I think Fred's always said it, but I don't know if Abby's, like, responded flirtatiously to it, or maybe I haven't noticed it, but this time on the runway, I was like... I don't, I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think that's that's it's what we think it is. That's what I'm I about. hope not. I don't want that to be the case. So anyways, now we're going to go ahead and get on with this occasion, because maybe someone will show me the receipts. Show them. Show em. <laughs> maybe somebody will. They come back into the workroom. You know how this goes. Jab, 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 jab. Then all of a sudden, this is my 97 take in the basement. How you doing? That is not what mother looked like. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Greetings, everyone. It's RuPaul here to frack. I mean, oh my God, wrong ad. Now listen as long as nobody fell. So RuPaul shows up and her talking 97th take head glory, tells them what the tea is. Fred comes into the room and we have a puppets, puppets, puppets moment here. Um, they didn't do like they normally do with like putting their hands in a giant hole to see what would come out. I guess this isn't America. No. They have black holes? <laughs> it's still not as fun. 
It's not as fun, but we, it also felt like they got to see where the things were. So if they were able to navigate a little bit, they know who they could pick back up or whatever. That's what I was just figuring. But either way, everyone had a puppet. Now let's say I remember this cause it was interesting. Uh, Abby picked up, <laughs> yeah, okay. You, you and me both. I was like, I, I kind of like Cause there was nothing to even really pull from it. I mean, Envy did the best by far and I don't oh even god. know why. Oh my god. <laughs> like she was funny and it was like, damn. And I said, did she take some of the hair from Mama Queen's doll and put it on the teeth for the yellow teeth? Gagged. I, I was I, like, damn. So, you know it's good when you can laugh at yourself. Thank you. And so that said, that leads me to say that Envy, uh, excuse me, Mama, wah, 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 wah. Envy had Mama Queen's puppet. Abby got Janae Jacquet's puppet, and she didn't utilize that at all. But what jokes was you made? Just that she's angry and she's a bitch, and then made that an entire subject line for her existence. But that's, there's, I mean, there's not much to use. Which, I mean, with Mama, you can make the pregnant thing, Abby being naked, uh, Envy being naked or perfect. Being perfect. Um, but like, yeah, Janae's, but Janae could have been a bitch. They could have done that. Yeah, I could have been a bitch. She could have been a bitch. I guess. A bitch. <laughs> a bitch. <laughs> um, but that didn't happen. Mama Queen did decent i believe who whose puppet did she have she had envy's puppet or did she, she have had abby she had yeah. abby's uh-huh yeah yeah y'all i was bored i'm gonna be real with you yeah it was bad and fred was just cackling i'm just like it, well rupaul has instilled that laugh track into his throat so there you go you know oh, mm -hmm. ha, ha. oh. oh god just i can't Anywho, the, the rest of Fred's chin and all the rest of the girls sat there and went, ooh, Jamar thought about that, didn't you? Yes, he did. Um, I have Mama, nothing to say. <laughs> Envy Peru is the winner by not Default? much. <laughs> Default. Default. Hey, that's the last thing. <laughs> Shout out to the comment section. Y'all got me together. I had read someone quote me by default. Maxi challenge this week has to do with Queen Maxima. And they it's it's a rusical, okay? Oh, we got a rusical. Some of my favorite challenges. Absolutely. I just watch on 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 that bitch. Uh, on that bitch. Don't know what it, baby. That I gotta say. We don't eat that alive. <laughs> Heidi did too. Heidi in closet. Is my back break Gigi. Gigi good. Good morning, campers. Good morning, Miss Good. Yeah. Gigi good. I'm a good girl living in a bad world. Bad. Oh my god. It's oh, oh. even uh, N I C K Y N <laughs> Good times. Good times. Uh, I gotta say, season 12. They got a lot to live up from that first episode with Nikki Peach, as far as rusicals are concerned. So this was a rusical based on Queen Maxima's life. Um, young age, party girl, a flirt in the second semester, and then third semester, she's on you know the ball a little bit, and then fourth semester, she's queen. Basically, I'm honestly wrapping this up. Mm -hmm. uh, in the... <laughs> Thank you. Envy from winning the Maxi Challenge is given the choice of choosing who is going to get what role. Envy chose correctly for everybody. And smart for her because that last one, she would have to be in the blue that she already wore mm -hmm. for the Maxi so Challenge. <laughs> oh, yes. Ooh, I was like, thank you. See, this is why we like Envy. <laughs> she's very smart, but she's not manipulative and she's not nasty. She's real smart about stuff, but she's, she's a little cutty. She's a little shady, but you know, not too much. I like that about Miss Envy. Not to where they can edit her to be the shady bitch. She's still liking this vulnerable, perfect image that they're giving her. Who throws a nasty slug every now and then, and we're uh, we're always good for it. Now, Envy gave Abby the youngest spot for obvious reasons. Uh, then Janae Jacquet got second. Gen second uh, semester <laughs> maxima of course envy gave herself third so she wouldn't have to repeat the same outfit and mama queen would end it with the queen maxima look okay i thought mama queen looked really good for this challenge by the way in that blue and that wig 
Oh yeah, as far as like how people looked during the musical, it was actually really good. I mm, mm -hmm. I was actually impressed that um, Abby's shoes didn't come off because like dancing in those kind of shoes, I've seen a lot of girls have to have like the knee high boots or like some kind of strap or something to make sure that they're secure and they didn't go nowhere. So. She had a regular pump and was hitting it. I'm like, okay, you know what? Kudos right. to you, bitch. All right. <laughs> Them shoes must be real small, girl. They ain't flying off of your feet like that. Must be nice. Corns and all, but you still young. You ain't you ain't ready for that bunion life just yet. Um, choreography was dope. I really did enjoy the choreographers. The choreographers, especially one in particular. Um the, you, already like know. you already know. You already know. Because I was like, oh, my type. <laughs> I was like, oh, beat. They didn't even show him that much. It was very. He'll annoying. be in the next episode. Oh, yes. After <laughs> all of that happens and they get back into the workroom, there is more banter that took place. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. I went you, friend. I was like, let's get this on the road. I need to see how this performance ended up. And I need to figure out what's about to happen. Fred. This was not a look. No, that yellow was a chop. <laughs> it the front needed was to fine. be steamed. <laughs> <laughs> it just needed to be steamed because it did have a yellow. Few folds. Oh. It did. It oh. did. Oh. <laughs> Had it been steamed, I think it would have been. No. <laughs> um, no. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Girl, that yellow was a flop. I was like, what is this? Why is this taking over your front? The Like, I think Fred's wig was right. It was very Ariana, I'm 22 grande. The guest judges were lovely. One of them was a contestant that was on uh, Euro, uh, what's it called? Um, Eurovision? Yeah. So I've never, ever, no shade. Please don't hurt me, everybody. I've never seen one of those. I've always heard of it. I haven't either. I've seen movies about it, that Will Ferrell movie that came out that was really, 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 really stupid. Um, but those aren't good depictions of it. So I'm gonna actually spend some time looking it up because I've seen X Factor, all that mess, but I'm like, what, 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 are we even involved in that? Like, you know what I mean? And that's, oh, to even say that, Matthew, are we even involved in that? We have American Idol. Okay. You mean like the style of show? Yeah, <laughs> just dig a booger and throw it out. Yeah, but that's different. They have like an actual song writing contest where people would like write legit songs and send in and then they have to perform that song on stage for them and it's their own way. It's a lot with Eurovision based that on the a, movie I saw. That is a little bit harder than just regular American. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not them singing other people's songs. No, they got to create their own song. And so that's when the talent really comes in, bitch. You know how to write and sing your stuff, okay? And um, perform, that's a whole different skill. Because <laughs> a lot of people can't do all three. Child. That's why they ask for charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. We're kind of running through this, y'all. Hope you're not too upset. We just want to get to stuff that we find fun. There's nothing to, talk, to talk about from the episode. <laughs> what Shamar said. <laughs> ah. yeah. So, the runway itself, actually, before we do that, let's just give a quick um, note on the performances from the musical. Yeah, so, Janae kind of served, like, Oh hard. yeah, that dip in that. Oh, like, that, that was okay, money. Man. Yeah, that, that was, was money. Right. Money's well spent. I was here for it. I was like, okay, Janae was server. Kind of gave Abby a little run for her money since she couldn't lip sync the words while dancing at the same time. I mean, I couldn't really tell. I actually stopped. I tried to pay attention to what the lyrics were during Abby's performance. So I wasn't looking at her too much uh, to see her lip syncing. I just saw her movement. Yeah. But after a while, I just said, fuck it. She's a great, she's a great dancer and an incredible performer. But what I was noticing with her, because I was trying to figure out where Fred's comment came from, or I think it was Nikki that said it, where it was like, your lip sync was a little bit off par. I went back and looked and I realized she looked down a lot. And there were a lot of points where her face wasn't centered to the performance. So if she was lip syncing, they couldn't tell because she was stuck here still doing a move, stuck here still doing a move. And I was like, hmm. 
Did okay. you see her almost pull that Naomi move on the floor? I tr- I saw her try. <laughs> I saw the attempt. It was cute. Now that that is a rumba. While Miss Naomi is the whole goddamn Dyson. Do you hear me? Okay. Can I get can I get can I get, can I get, can I, get, can I, get <laughs> I saw that. I said that little boot scoot is now and forever always gonna be Naomi's and anybody they else that does it, you gotta do it. She, she got right. it. She, she went from the back to the front. Can it get, can it get, go? Can it get, can it get, go? Up. Bam! <laughs> oh, come on. It was so, it was fire. So let's get to the runway because that's my favorite thing of this week. Ah, I'm putting my hair up for this. Whoa. All right. She's secure. Category is red, white, and blue, bitch. Just like that. That's what that really is. I was like, why? Yeah, <laughs> like, okay. Had that beef at the end of it just needed, just uh, made it here. Up first is Envy Peru entering Stargate. Now, did you think the same thing that I thought when you saw this? All oh. Stars 4. Trinity the Tuck had a bubblegum wrap running for <laughs> Bye. With this. <laughs> I mean, it's not to take away from it, but that not is, at all. That is the first thing that I thought of when I saw this. You can go to Drag Race Canada for that little bit too. And what was the other season that had somebody do that? Brooklyn Heights. Bam. That's who it was. Brooklyn Heights is Koi dress. Do you remember that now? Comment section, help me out here. Y'all know who season I'm. Eleven about. is a blur. Damn, y'all know who I'm talking about. It was so, I think it was Brooklyn's dress and it was that water that was coming up from the back of it. And that's that same- Oh, wait. Am I right? I I think I know what you're talking about. Am I right with Brooklyn though? I feel like it's- It was either Brooklyn or Scarlet? Nope, it was Brooklyn. Yep. I remember Scarlet's runway. She didn't have that many. Ding, 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 and you're gone. Yeah, I love Scarlet, but they did her, they did her. (laughs) She should have won that lip sync. I'm mad about that to this day. What lip sync? The six I guess I watch her. To get back to Envy's look itself, her bathing suit, this was hella cool. Mm-hmm. And the fact that her outfits for the rest of this runway theme will be all cohesive is insane. So I live for this. Live, live, live. Also, excuse me, it's bathing suits, cocktail dress, and then evening gown. No ball. They just gave us categories. Which is the same shirt. (laughs) Okay. I mean, you could have called it a pageant. You could have said a ball, the red, white, and blue ball. If they said pageant, then we got to do a whole bunch of other shit. This is polished puss. (laughs) The best way I can put it, polished puss. Uh, even the clear uh, heels that went with it were right with the money. Um, the glasses are everything. Are those Islis? Uh, I'm like, Jakey, are those on the same pair, buddy? But they're, those are, she's severe, severe. I'm just severe. Just agree. Just severe. Uh, next up is Mama Queen swimming in a daydream with stockings that did not match. <laughs> so. The face and the hair, lovely. Oh, severe. Severe. When we uh, go below the Adam's apple, it's a no for me. I think her hair is epic. I think her face is amazing. Her makeup is woo, drip. But I don't have any interest in the outfit outside of that. Yeah, <laughs> that's where it stops. <laughs> and I really didn't, the stockings did bother me too. I know somebody was like, really? She, Nikki's bringing up the stock. I was like, girl, did you see it though? Like, it when it when they get real go- goosebumps gray <laughs> and the rest is getting out of the sun on it. it. To be honest, I don't think I would even they, notice. You saw them replay the clip like, by the way, this is what she's talking about. I saw it, but I was like, maybe she just has pale legs. But then when they came back, she's like, nah, sis, she got gray ass talking. Either way, it, it still, to be honest with you, this is one of mama's best looks. I didn't think it was horrible. I just was like, I wouldn't like this. But Man, her makeup just the, and hair, the shaping of it is not, it doesn't really compliment her. True. To me. Well, that face. 
Thank God for that boa, whatever she got going. Miss Abby OMG is Punk Beach. Abby. There's a reveal, everybody. Cause you know, the mohawk wasn't even on her head correctly. The lace was showing in everything. <laughs> I want Abby to take every long bone straight wig she has and set them on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to take every bone straight wig that you have and set them ablaze, girl. <laughs> I swear to God. This is giving me like the same issue I had with Eureka and her hair loaf. Oh my God. Oh no, please, Jesus. Let's not have another bit of that for this upcoming <laughs> talk about. I swear I will be so upset if that's all we get are loaves of Wonder Bread on top of pudding pops. I'm not going to do it. Listen. I'm with Jamar on this one. These bone straights are beautiful, but when they're worn with every single runway almost, it kind of takes the specialness of having some bone straight, nasty, good old rim 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 36 down the rack back. Like I need some of that. But you've given me too much and I want to have some yeah. different hairstyles. And you've had different ones, but have they been special? No, they haven't. So I'm just... The, the mohawk girl, look at this. I got the picture up right now. Look at that lace showing. Look at this. Like, what, ma'am. And it, it was like, we saw that reveal a mile away. <laughs> we were hoping you were going to take that off. Imagine if you just walked out there like that and then walked to the back. Like, oh, I forgot to take it off, pheromone. Um, mm, mm. um, the bathing oh, suit <laughs> is not a bathing suit. <laughs> Baby, she's going to get her <laughs> money. She's going to get her money. You better go get your money. This thing, that's a Tuesday night. Come to the stage, it's Abby OMG. <laughs> there is a chicken bar and stuff in the back. Like, not even. That's a stripper outfit. All tea. All tea. Oh, but her body's amazing. And she's so pretty and adorable. So it's difficult for me to, like, just really rag on Abby like this, even though I just did. And I, and I love her, but it's just like, girl... <laughs> help you me did, help you. you do more yeah because you're in top four with this kind of mess like okay you have literally lip synced your way to the top <laughs> you did what Alyssa Edwards couldn't do uh, well, remember she said it hope oh, better yet silky Roxy Andrews well, no, Roxy got carried to the <laughs> honey that's an all star that's a whole that's an India Farrah moment <laughs> I don't know how far they went, but they went further than they were supposed to. <laughs> I'm in the reasons moment. unknown, and she couldn't even. She when she got to the uh, the top four, was like, "Why should we crown you?" She was like, "I can't even sit here and act like <laughs> that I could come She's up." Like, I'm beautiful though. <laughs> She's like, I, I'm not going to say I don't want you to crown me, but I know that you're not going to crown me because there's no sense in crowning me. <laughs> but I appreciate for being a lovely third alternate. Oh, right. <laughs> <to the side. laughs> oh, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Because we and Jabbar can go on about these other seasons and probably will if this continues. But after Abby walked away in her bone straight hair, uh, Janae JK comes out in South Beach Realness with her uh, merch on towel. <laughs> I was like, girl, not this, I will go into the spa, but then it's a reveal to my merchandise. <sighs> okay. I have one critique for this outfit. That's the nude illusion bra in between the uh, straps of color that's supposed to be giving that, you know, silhouette or whatever. It's a little off color from what her tights were. And so it kind of was distracting for me just looking at it with so much intent. However, 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 and y'all gonna hear me say this. Janae is woman. She sells it. I was like, she oh, you are like beautiful. It. Like, oh, like it's honestly, this whole season, I've looked at Janae <laughs> and been like, you, yeah, she's fierce, she's fierce, but this episode? Not that dishwater. Not the dishwater. Not that dishwater. Though. Not those. And she corn, had bone straight hair. Not those blue, those those blue cornrows. Yeah. And it was blue. Yes. Yes. That was remember a, no. that color palette. We remember. 
Absolutely not. Muddy waters. Um, puss puss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at, like, so, like, just I'm looking at the walk right now. Like everything about, like the confidence that, like the makeup. Severe. It's severe. It, yeah, yeah. It gets better though for her. Honestly, the looks get better as it progresses. Like the bathing suit that was cute, but that when we get to that gown, <laughs> I was so happy. Okay, so now we're on to cocktail dresses, not waitresses, cocktail dresses, okay? Mm -hmm. Envy Peru, traveling light years. This is the first time I didn't like something she wore. Okay, because I'm like, I don't like this at all. I this all. looks like it does no, not fit. It was cheap. I didn't like it. This is the first time I'm going to drag her. Why is the crotch exposed like that? That does not it looks cocktail dress. It looks uncomfortable. <laughs> right, it don't give cocktail. The hair's nice, though. It gives pops, paparazzi shots. Stepped out the cab, ba, da, 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 like, oh, her hair was. The hair was nice. <laughs> I want that wig. I want it. <laughs> I need it in like a pink or a green type of. That wig is disgusting. I said, oh, <laughs> she's shaking severely. How you pack that on <laughs> nice and neat? Okay. Oof. It was right. Oof. You're, okay, but your makeup's done. Your hair is one. I just didn't like this outfit. And it's the first time I didn't like something from you, Envy. Honestly. It's the first time I didn't like something from you. <laughs> okay. First time for everything. Well, not a first time for this one. Up next is Mama Queen giving us extra Ma Martini. She has breast. She did. Um, her makeup is one. I like the hair and the yes. jewelry. What? I, I know mean, she said it's giving, she said there's supposed to be a, 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 a playback or, or a spin on a cocktail dress in a certain era. It's not bad, but then I'm not just like, wow. But it's like, okay, work. I think it looks nice on her, and that's not shade. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know who this would go on. I feel I have a sense that somebody's going to be upset with me and Jamar over our thoughts on Mama Queen, and that you think we just hate her. We do not hate her. I have said this. Girl, she in the finale. Yeah, she I've said this on tape. I don't hate her. I just this sometimes it's just not what I like. Okay. Okay, all right. Yeah, she'll do better in the... All right, up next is Miss Abby OMG with Abby Airlines, and she could fly right the fuck back out. No, <laughs> Oh, Lord. Okay, so first of all, cocktail dress. She goes and gives you some sort of, like, flight attendant. And <laughs> just was like, Miss B. I'll be real with you. I did like the construction of this. Uh, Abby. But I don't know. <laughs> Abby, I love you, girl. And you took that same bone straight wig that you wore from that mohawk and tied it in a ponytail, child. I want so much more for you, girl. <laughs> it was the quickest change in the back, I swear. <laughs> she was like, no, uh -uh, don't touch the wig. It's going to stay. We just got to give me some bobby pins and we about to go. <laughs> Um, I did like the flight attendant look a tad bit. Um, I wanted this to be an actual, like a cocktail dress moment though. I think that this was like a travel challenge. This would have been super cute. Um, Free, but it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not chopping this. I'm saving mine for the gown in just a second. We're gonna get to my whoo chop. But this this is definitely a slice bread. It's definitely a slice. This is a slice bread. It's cool. I just I, I wanted cocktail dress. That's all. That's all. And then Loki, when she turned around, it She's in the white bathing suit. Girl, I gotta stop. I can't look at her stuff no more. All right, next up is Janae Jacquet <laughs> giving a celebrity cocktail. Uh, this, was, <sighs> this was a serve. 
This is cute. She's still oh, she's still a woman. Mm-hmm. Oh, I just saw a flash of Fred. Why she look like you got an Ariana Grande wig on? I told you. I told you. I told you. She got the same Ariana wig with that one little <laughs> final look on it. Like, <laughs> like for why? For who? I forgot. <laughs> like I was at Fred's hair, and you're like Miss Fred. Now, what are you trying to do? <laughs> Giving us what's her name from Legally Blonde? Um, Ooh. Oh, <clears throat> this one that talks like this. She's on Two Bro Girls. I think it's Jennifer Coolidge. I may be right in this. I have one thing that I don't like about this particular outfit, and that is the heel of your shoe. Oh, I want to take a quick jab at that heel, honey. It's a little bulky. Oh, my God, no. (laughs) Why are you wearing a silver pump with this dress? With with a transparent... Oh, (laughs) is that a transparent block heel? This is a transparent block heels. (gasps) Oh, You should have had a pump and a pump In a stiletto. It needed a stiletto. <laughs> Not a this, stiletto. girl. Not this. Girl. <laughs> that is the only critique that I have. I'm so that. mad you showed me that. I, I'm i mad she wore it. I, I had higher <laughs> remarks for this until I saw that shoe. Um, no, the dress is to serve. I like the wig. The shoe was a chop. And yeah, that's where we're on Janae Jacquet's look. Oh. Uh, last category is gowns and... Uh, first up is Envy Peru and Arriving Interstellar Highness. Envy. Um, this, okay, I'm going to tell you why this worked really well. In the front, in the bust area was a bit of a problem for me because it was so weird how yep. the height was sort of crisscrossing in the construction, the tad bit, to where it gave, like, you didn't have a chest at all. However, that high, 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 high slit with those red boots. The red gloves gave it what it needed. The red gloves and the red legs with the boots. Oh, brought me back. Brought me back. I was here for it. I just did not like that front. Everything else about it, I'm I'm all the way for. I just did not like that front bust, bust area at all. Like, no, ma'am. Ugh, yeah, that's a, that's a, that. Agreed. Ooh. Ooh, them red legs with them gloves. Ooh, oh, all right. All right. Ooh, Y'all next. wanted to chop? You got it. <laughs> Actually, you might get two. Um, Mama Queen, finding the future by looking backwards. Go back. Go right back. Return to sender. You return to the wrong Ma'am, address. What the hell? Why do you have pants on underneath this? Why is your wig about to bounce off your head? It already did. It, <laughs> you know, it bounced on Jackie Cox's head. Uh, Low key, doesn't that look like the, thank you. All right, so, but no, the pants. <laughs> Jamar, <laughs> wait, I gave you Jackie. <laughs> I, Trade of season 12. Why do you have on pants with this, girl? I love the accessories. That's it. The everything else is a chop from the bed sheet to the other bed sheet to the corset of the other bed sheet chop. But ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, huh? <sighs> I, I, uh, concept was cute, yeah, concept, except it wasn't cute. See, okay, well, <laughs> I, I started looking at the next bitch. No, we can drag her too, because this one's a drag as well. Um, Miss Abby OMG, the Queen of Tool. <sighs> okay. Okay, okay. This is still the better of her three. Absolutely. Um the part you talk that's... about the tool going up the front the way it is. With that's the, the part I don't like. Basically, where you see how they're doing the billowy part of the tool bottom of the dress. They sewed it in the lines so that way it sort of sticks out like this, okay? But it But why did you need to do, I have never seen nobody so tool to that part to get a line down of it to then have it pucker out the bottom. No, you should have did the same thing you did for the top. Just have it just yes. right at him. <laughs> and just him to at the line. And that's all you be- had to do was just him at the line. Like it's it's not that long of a dress. Like that's why it looks crazy that you like incorporated it into there. I mean, Nikki's talking about a ribbon. I was like, bitch, that's the least of the issues. That's the least. I mean, of the it problem. does take away, but it's not the main thing that I was looking at. That exactly. Was- <laughs> I was like, what is Nikki tripping? The, I mean, the ribbon's not there, but 
it's better than how this is sewn at the bottom. Jesus. And the other thing is just on top. Like she could take that off and that'd be a whole nother dress. Honestly, it probably wasn't. You could tell dress. that that was its own dress and she just so <laughs> And just added to it. Yeah. <laughs> As I said that, Carmen, I'm like, it low key was another dress. Um, your makeup is severe. Your hair was cute. And I love the crown on top. And, and that's, yeah, that's, yeah. It was the best look you had all night. I think she's a beautiful girl, but bless her oh, heart. Oh, yeah, she's fine as hell. Because the bad part about it is Janae Jacque went after you, Abby, and ate you for breakfast. However. However. Oh, no, you will. Who you however in? <laughs> Uh, now we we criticized Janae earlier for this nude breast bosom. God damn you! And now I see it. And now I see <laughs> we, it. We have and to now consistent. I see it. Oh, I hate we you. We have to be consistent. Now I see it. God, it's that same color too. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's the same same thing. Oh, that tan tan. So it's like that tan tan. That beige, beige. <laughs> now, is this a pant? Because I don't, is this? No, no, no. Those are just as, um, the fabric on the sides are just, some of them are just out separately than the others. The others are so Okay, because I'm like, no. That's why I like that. Because it's like a gown, but then she kept some of the pieces separate so it would flow better when she walks. Uh, this was my favorite dress of the night, honestly. I think it's also my favorite look. I also love the hair the hair of the hair i think this is the most, this is this is the most if you could never clock her this this would be the look for me in my opinion she looks amazing and she looks like a, she looks just like a woman it's, it's amazing i don't know what to say janae you you i was like oh girl i was coming for you early in the season but i'm sitting over here at oh baby it was Why? just the time <laughs> yes i was quiet watching this i was like oh my god she is sexy and severe. I was here for it. I was here for it. So Janae, you won for the runway for me personally. I thought Envy was a was a damn near close second. She had a couple little mess ups too. Just a little stuff here and there from those two. Abby and Mama Queen were fighting for supremacy on bullshit as far as what the runway was concerned, in my opinion. It was like, there can only be one. And you know, I, it's a Highlander joke, everybody. Anywho, some of y'all wouldn't know that because reference. Now it is. It used to not be. Have you ever watched the USA Network? Yeah, we're uh, old. We're old. <laughs> I, I was on my time. Okay, That's yeah. where the, all the Halloween stuff would come up. It was on USA Network, baby. That's when I first saw the It movie, too. Like the Tim Curry one. USA Network. I don't want to say the Halloween movies that I have not seen because everyone wants to kill me. I already know you ain't seen shit, so I, I'm not even going to that. <laughs> I, I'm the one that'd be telling them about shows, y'all. What like, movies have you not seen? The Conjuring? No, I saw that. That was bad. Um, I, I didn't like it. It wasn't for me. I have not seen Halloween Town. You didn't miss anything. Not even, how could you say that? You've seen... how. Y'all have seen Halloween Town. Don't you lie to my friend. And I haven't seen Hocus Pocus. So, so your lady, your your lady boy card is official. <laughs> and that's fine. That is so. How have you fine. not seen Hocus Pocus? It 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 came on like every other five minutes every year around Halloween time. Never sat and watched it. it. Is, Sarah Jessica Parker's best role. <laughs> That's so much Damn. shade. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Not Sex in the City? Nope. I'm just kidding, y'all. Carrie was a fit for her nose. Um, I will say that um, <clears throat> my throat got a little scratchy right there. Ooh. Bette Midler is everything in that movie. You you definitely need to watch. So after a interesting runway, and Fred decides to ask them a pretty crazy question, but not really. Who do you want to take with you to the final if there's just three? Envy answers truthfully 
<laughs> feels bad about it, but it's like, I'm just, I gotta say what I gotta say. It's Abby I wouldn't take with me. Mama Queen and Janae for sure. Now we get to Mama Queen. <laughs> I, would I tell you, I was so spooked when it came out of her mouth. But then I was Not like, really. well, go ahead. I mean, you know, Mama Queen I was like, say that. Because when they were doing the rehearsal, her and Abby were kind of like, so it's our plan to get, get me up out of here. And Mama Queen was like, yep. <laughs> Any way that they can. So I wasn't too surprised, but I was like, wow, she actually did it. That's what I was surprised by. <laughs> what makes that even worse is how Abby always acts like Envy shouldn't ever put her name up. And then you're having a conversation about sending her home with one of her competitors and you're her sister. And she crying, looking at her like, how could you? It's just like, girl. And she's been doing that a lot. Like, oh, I can't believe y'all would even say my name. And da, da, da. I'm like, did you see what you wore? <laughs> like, you better find it again. Like, I love you and you bad as you want to, but you also, oh, not the one. Not, not with that budget. No. And, okay, Mama Queen says Envy should go home because she's actually had a better relationship with Janae and Abby and Envy was like, that's bullshit. Like say it for <laughs> you, say I'm better, bigger competition and call it a day. But don't you sit here and say that we haven't bonded and that's your excuse, that's a cop out. So then um, Abby's asked, and when I tell you I wanted to slap her so hard, I, I, I don't want to send anybody home. I wish we all could go. I thought they were going to make her say something. I'm like, oh, so they really going to skip past her. Because okay. Janae was me all in that moment. We all got the same damn question. How are you going to pageant out on this one? We say don't want to answer feel. this either. Yeah. Say what you feel. Say say what you feel. Because you do not want all four of you to go to the final. And that's the truth. But whatever. That's one extra person to get in the way. <laughs> Thank you. So then we get to Janae J.K. And I'm telling you, in Kennedy Davenport style. <laughs> With great power. Comes Abby milk. OMG. <laughs> Thank you, today. And she was like straight up lip sync three times. Come on. I was like, no okay. wins. I mean, that's no really wins. there's really no fighting those facts. Like Even we all Indy. have wins. Mama Queen. You have no win. wins. Janae has a win. Abby does not. <laughs> I love Abby. And has lip synced three times. Now when like, Mama Queen said what she said, Fred's face was like what because <laughs> there's an ariana grande wig on that face so it's like okay <laughs> on to the next person please um and then after that none of that mattered so they so basically they go in the back too because you know we, we for all forgot about untucked because since certain gene left it hasn't been interesting all too so we get in the back and everyone's press. E Envy's look like Mama Queen is a bitch. Abby's like, they all, Janae and Envy trying to get me out and blah, blah, blah. And Mama Queen's like, everyone was going to be mad anyway. So no matter what I said, everyone was going to be mad. <laughs> She's not wrong. It just depends on who's going to be mad. Exactly. And I got to say, I was so here for Envy checking Mama Queen. Girl, what you said was bullshit. And Janae, too, to Abby, that whole all for, oh, I love I was like, thank you. I mean, they were like, look, it is what it is. It's nothing personal. They tell us to ask the question. I'm going to answer the question. This is the game. And y'all <laughs> trying to play this, oh, we're not mean people stuff. Girl, F all of that. Because when these cameras go off, I know you got shit to say. And even if you don't have shit to say, you're still going to say some shit anyways. Anywho, that was fun. Judging commences. Janae JK is the winner of this week's challenge. Deserved. Okay? Very much. Deserved. Envy Peru coming in second. That felt good. Envy, no shade, but after four wins, girl, I was a couple every of bit which are okay. Yes. Very questionable. But <laughs> I cannot forgive them for snatching uh, snatching him away from they, Chelsea they Boy. They messed over Chelsea Boy bad. Though. That was bullshit. <laughs> that was, was jacked up. And then the episode that's, um, I would say also the episode that Soto Jean wore that red with the dripping jewels look with the baby carriage bit. 
and that was another acting challenge. I was like, ooh, she should have won. So Jean should have won that one, but okay. Anywho, whatever. Y'all, let me stop. Let me stop. Okay. Let me stop. So NBC, Janae and Jack A is safe. Janae and Jack A. Janae Jack A is safe. Mama Queen, Abby Om G, bottom two. Oop. What's the lip sync song? Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. Oop. Again. This shouldn't be hard. This has been in every store everywhere. Every time you go into somebody's, you know, somewhat 21. conservative <laughs> place of shopping also as well, because that's like, you know, she's not a threat. She's Kelly Clarkson. Ooh, Arab Hostel. Never bring it back. Gap. <laughs> no, the fact you even said Arab Hostel. Oh, girl, American $10 Eagle. shirts that itch just got on me. <laughs> Oof. If I want to see a Kelly Clarkson lip sync, I'll go back to season six. <laughs> Billy LaCram, Darian Lake. <laughs> when Darian's wig start to fall back. <laughs> still one. Oh God. Okay. Okay. So where where do you where do you want me to start with this lip sync? So all right. Mama Queen, for some reason, was doing this knee bend down to get closer to Abby's level bit and then get right back up again, staying in the same position. She was doing a lot of this. A lot of this. She was trying to prevent her wig from falling off. That's one. <laughs> Two. Abby OMG. I expected something different when you got out the gal. I really, I really, really, really did. I really did. She did it three times already. What else? She, you want, what else? I thought Tiana Taylor was giving us a full session in that video once again with this look. She pulled up that adhesive tape she wants to call a bra, and then she was trying to pull up the rest of this. The, the girdle. God was like, what is happening here? And the shoes underneath. Wait, so you were wearing those shoes with that dress underneath the entire time? <laughs> I was she knew so she was lip syncing. She, 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 she was lip syncing. Also, also, <laughs> and also, why I see the tube sock first, friend? I was gagged. I said, "Where is the tube sock?" Should she take watch her as she's taking off her dress. You see the tube sock first before you see the black boot. And I, when I tell you, I giggled something fierce. I thought for sure she had a, a pair of Adidas on or some Chucks, and I was about to die. What? <laughs> oh, you see it now, don't you? <sighs> um, I'll, I'll get off of Abby. I, I know I've, I've come for her. Um, the split was timed, and it was cool, but we've seen it many times before, so that effect is gone. Uh, Mama Queen, that split at the end. Oh, now, she looked like she that 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 split at the end did not help you, Mama Queen at all. She couldn't stop because it didn't go all the way down like she wanted to. So she's like, oh, she I got stuck. She got about <laughs> six feet and two inches down there, but the rest of the nine of those inches were toppled on over there. Jenga, um, it was not my favorite lip sync of the season. I thought it was a little. Mm, <laughs> and that's the best way I could put it, honestly. I thought it was mmm. It's like, okay. Send Girl, both home. <laughs> Top two. I mean, truth be told, this is a competition between Janae and Envy. That's really the only reason why we're here. Because. <laughs> I know y'all don't really think that y'all could be like Team Mama Queen or Team Abby and think that they're actually going to win. This isn't All Stars 3. <laughs> so here's what happens. and I'm going to get real close because this part is necessary. After what was considered a sinking of lips, Abby OMG, Mama Queen, Shantae, you stay. Both of you. When I tell you, I felt the aura of Envy Peru and Janae Jacquet in today from that being filmed months ago. 
of feeling the utter extremity of bullshittery. One of them needed to go. And it was clear which one it was. Absolutely. One of them needed to go. Y'all, I know we have favorites. I know we love people. I'm trying to do this as soft as I can so this mic isn't too hot. But seriously, what? That is one of the most undeserving double Shantae's I have ever seen in my life. She's already sent home, said a gene. And then she's still here. She she stayed and was safe when she had the wrong weapons for her character. Oh, and then the picture and she posted online was corrected. So thank you for that, Abby. Cause I saw I was you I was gonna be this close to leaving a comment saying, So where's the fan, sis? Or just putting a a, a gif of a fan blowing, you know, just to be shady. But I saw the edit. I appreciate it. And you gave your brother the correct utensils too. But, girl, but you didn't do that when you were there. Yeah, yeah, you, you didn't do that when you was there. And as far as I'm concerned, Michelle Pfeiffer, give her back her lives as Catwoman. Because you mm-hmm. have used all of your, <laughs> your life flashes. She's dead. She died. He's still there in the finale though. Oh my God, they killed Abby. You bastards. <laughs> Boo, Wendy Testamaker, boo. Okay. I'm done talking about this. We, 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 we told you what happened. There's a top four finale here. <laughs> I'm ready for this to be over. I am as well. No shade, Drag Race Holland. This has been fun, mm-hmm. but there have been some questionable moments that have made me really regret my decision on watching this. Just a little this- bit. This, this judging is almost more skewed than Canada. Ooh, but if we could only make that lie up to ourselves. <laughs> but at least Canada was more in You much. know what? <laughs> I got that point for you, Jamar. Canada's difference was what was being said to the contestants was considerably bullshit. Whereas this, the end result part of it gets to be, huh? We were fine with our top three in Drag Race Canada. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even, even without my Jimbo. I, I would say my like, Jimbo was not we, there. Yeah, we were still cool though. Like we were like, okay, this is cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah we can watch it. Scarlet, it's, it's gonna be Scarlet or Priyanka. If it's Reed, it's cause she won the most. That's how everybody was looking at it. All team. Pretty much. They kind of balanced each other out really mm-hmm. good. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this one. I, I needed Chelsea somewhere in this picture or Sergene. Like, I needed yes. them, either of them, too. I, di- I didn't need Sergene to be top four. Y'all hear me on that. Or Chelsea. I needed either or. One point. of the two. There should have been You know sort what? Janae said it in, the, uh, in that banter. She was like, I mean, because Envy was like, well, I feel like I could should be good. I have a great track record. She's like, well, girl, Sergene was at the top for, like, four episodes and then gone. <laughs> Just like that. Just like that, like in the same with Chelsea. Oh my God, you're so amazing. You're so amazing. This is terrible. Lip sync, you're going home. What? Like, I'm used to the one, two rule, okay? The first time you lip sync against somebody who's lip sync about several, several times, and, and it has to be more than two, it's almost like you're guaranteed to stay unless you're just trash, okay? Now, if it's two to one, you could possibly be going home because system may be that bad. <laughs> okay, but once we get to four, <laughs> four, four now, four, four, four. You didn't have to lip sync last week just because Fred liked you. All right, I'm done. I'm not gonna go on any, I'm not gonna rant no more. Jamar, final thoughts? I'm ready for this to be over. I'm just ready for you to enjoy your time in Atlanta for your birthday, friend. I am too. It's gonna be my last hurrah for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had a hurrah in forever, so I'm hoping I can get one soon. Listen, Jamar's birthday is November the 4th. Correct. I got it. <laughs> I have a lot of birthdays. Horrible. <laughs> I have friends. I have too many Scorpio friends, and I'm sick of y'all. Um, <clears throat> November 4th is Jamar's birthday, y'all, and this... Uh, he was able to film with us 
before he left on a plane tomorrow, which y'all are seeing mm-hmm. this on Saturday. So he's already in Atlanta now. So please make sure that you send my friend some birthday love for his birthday. Like literally spray his comment section with all the birthday love. Rant pack included <laughs> with that. Um, I'm sending Jamar something special for his birthday. I'll be broke afterwards, but he's still getting something <laughs> because he deserves it. You do deserve it. And I thank you, friend. I thank you. you. Deserve so it. I can participate in the, in the And, and low-key, honestly, had I not found my glasses, he was only going to get like 20 bucks. So I'm, I'm about to send you a grip. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, hey. Like, well, at least I can put it to the side to when I can come up hey. with this. Like, like I so, said, like I said, I'm trying to get uh, Jamar a, a switch, so I'm uh, sending him half of it. Um, wrap this up. Happy birthday, Jamar. I hope you have a great day, and I hope you have a safe trip. That part. I hope you have thank a Thank you. Trip. Everybody <laughs> send him love, and thank you all for tuning in. We hope you have a great weekend, and you enjoyed watching the show with us. The finale is next week. I think Shamar will be back in time for that. If he's not, it's okay. We'll I see should. him. We'll yeah. see. Thanks again for tuning in. Hugs and kisses are best love and wishes to you. It's your boy, Matty Rands. It's your Marty Four. Have a good one, everybody. Bye. Oh, my God. <laughs>